Artificial intelligence and machine learning are changing a number of industries, not to mention social media. Of course, social media, but social media along with uh, customer service for Tech Republican ZDNet. I'm Dan Patterson with Joshua Marsh. He is the CEO and founder of Conversocial. Josh, uh, how is AI uh, infiltrating social media to make uh, uh, customer service more efficient and less ex expensive? Sure. And hey, Dan, great, great to be on. Uh, you know, a couple of years ago, uh, I was sitting at F8, which was Facebook's developer conference, when Mark Zuckerberg announced the launch of the bot platform. Uh, and this was the kind of first bot platform for Messenger. And kind of everyone went really crazy over it. I'm not sure if you can remember all of the hype that was happening at the time. But you know, I mean, Zuckerberg himself was kind of heralding a future without phone calls, where you know, every app was going to shift over to being in a bot within a few months, where you know, it was the end of human customer service. You know, the reality was um, you know, much nowhere near what the hype was. And everyone realized pretty quickly that you know, if you build a very basic kind of rule-based chatbot, uh, it's not that effective for customer service. People tend to not like it. You can easily get frustrated and kind of upset people. And kind of the whole area just kind of lost a lot of the lustre. Um, now, since then, we've actually seen some really big developments happen in machine learning and AI. Uh, a lot of businesses have been like really starting to figure out what does work and what doesn't work when it comes to implementing AI and bots and machine learning into, into messaging. And we've also seen alongside it this huge rise of private messaging and messaging apps for business. You know, two years ago when they first announced that, messaging was still pretty small. Over the last couple of years, now messaging has really just taken over the world in terms of how people communicate with each other, within businesses, and from businesses to consumers. And we have all of these things starting to come together where we're now starting to see how you can really implement machine learning, AI, and bots combined with human, human agents within messaging to really transform customer service. Uh, and we're starting to see a, a lot of really big progress happening in that space. You know, even today, with kind of simple implementations, you know, for our clients, we're able to save 20, 30% of all of the inbound messages that can be handled automatically. Um, and I think over the next few years, we're really going to see a pretty dramatic shift in this area. Josh, I'm glad you drew that distinction between the hype and the reality. Of course, the realities of machine learning are uh, the potential is incredible, but it's a, a long way from here to there. I wonder if you could help us understand what some of the challenges that uh, businesses experienced uh, from 2015 until now and what changed, what has made uh, that big jump forward to make uh, conversational AI uh, much more efficient? Sure. So I think the big mistake that people made initially was trying to build completely standalone chatbots, right? So they tried to create a bot that could hold the entirety of the conversation between, with the customer and the, and, and, and the business. And the fact is, even today, with the most advanced AI, most advanced machine learning technologies, no bot is ever going to be able to help ha handle the full complexity of any kind of customer service situation that could come up, especially for a big business. And so people kind of tried to build these bots and quickly realized that while they could handle some certain very specific tasks or simple bits of the conversation, if you tried to leave them there too long, eventually it would frustrate the customer and cause a problem. And so it's, it's really been, a big thing has been a change of approach. Where, and, and our approach in this is to go, you know what, the great thing about messaging which is different than other customer service channels, is that it's asynchronous. It's kind of like texting a friend. So you know, I'll send you, I'll send you a message as a business, and you know, if you respond in five minutes or ten minutes, that's pretty real time. And you know, I might get that message, and maybe I'll respond in an hour. Um, you know, so it's it's not like a live chat that's happening on the website or a phone call where you're trying to handle everything, you know, there and then. And what that means is that when a message comes in. Uh, from the from the consumer to a business, a system, an automatic system, can go. Hey, we respond to this automatically. You know, is this a really simple question that's come in, or is this be the beginning of the conversation? And do I just need to ask a few clarifying questions to find out what kind of problem people have and collect information? And then, when the bot needs to hand over to a human, 
it can just do that seamlessly behind the scenes. And it, you know, if that means it takes another five minutes or 10 minutes for a human agent to respond, it doesn't really cause any kind of issue for the consumer on the other, on the other, on the other side of it. And that means that by combining automation with human agents, you can create this really seamless experience where you're never having a bot that says it doesn't understand. You know, you're never creating a situation which frustrates the customer, but instead every little bit of automation you add just speeds up the response times, increases the efficiency. And so it, it, you know, through that model, you can create a better and better experience without, you know, and, and while also kind of lowering the cost of, of delivering service without ever frustrating the customer. And I think that's the really key thing that started to happen. Yeah, I love the idea that it was a change of approach, not necessarily a change in technology that caused uh, uh, iteration that led to innovation uh, and eventually optimization. Uh, Josh Marsh, Converse Social CEO and founder, I wonder if you could leave us with a forecast, maybe uh, looking at the next, say, 18 to 36 months when it comes to the advancements of machine learning, uh, natural language processing, and AI. Uh, where, where is that in terms of business tech, not just the trends, but the realities of implementation and use of these uh, new tools? Sure. So I think over the past few years, the really big change that's happened when it comes to you know, deep learning and machine learning hasn't necessarily been that it's kind of suddenly become much more advanced. It's more that it's become much cheaper and faster to be able to use these techniques on really large data sets. And what we see today is there are a lot of vendors, you know, like Conversocial and, and like other people in the market who are sitting on these really big databases of you know, hundreds of millions sometimes of conversations that have been tagged and had sentiment added and all this kind of thing, which are really incredibly rich data sets for learning from. And I think over the next 18 months, what we're going to see isn't necessarily a huge change in the kind of front end of like, you know, bots talking to a customer, but it's more going to be behind the scenes, you know, figuring out how to automate a lot of things that were previously done by a human agent behind that, you know, automatically understanding the context of a, of a, of a conversation, you know, tagging it, routing it automatically, collecting information, and putting it into a CRM system. A lot of the kind of drudgery work, you know, simple transactional work that human agents have to be doing that, that add to their day and delay how fast they can get back to a customer. And I think we're going to see real machine learning and deep learning kind of added in that behind the scenes. And that's what that's going to do is start to just really increase the efficiency of customer care. It's going to make it you know, cheaper and faster for businesses to deliver a better experience um, you know, over, over digital channels. I think that's where the, the big shift's going to be.